Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're reviewing the Rapid Fire Attachment. This one is available only for submachine guns, I think. I don't think we can put them on assault rifles or LMGs or anything else. The gameplay that you're seeing right now is me using the MP11 Squeaker, which is a fast-firing submachine gun. The variant fires faster, and I put Rapid Fire on it, so we're pretty much going bananas with the fire rate. It'll be a shorter in depth, but very educational. The first thing that Rapid Fire does is increase your rate of fire by 25%. This comes directly from the game code given to me courtesy of Marvel 4 who's pretty much the wizard at this sort of thing technically it's going to decrease the fire time and the fire time is the time between your shots but if you decrease the time between the shots you're therefore increasing the rate of fire of the gun but that's blah 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 blah. 25% rate of fire increase is a much easier way to think about it it also gives you a penalty to your hip fire spread it makes your hip fire radius 20% wider which is unfortunate this isn't always I mean, I mean, this isn't consistent. Almost every Call of Duty game has a different penalty to rapid fire. Some have a ton more recoil, some range. This game just makes your hip, hip fire less accurate. I guess the idea was they didn't want people with laser sights turning the corner and rapid firing you into oblivion, but do keep in mind that that is an issue. And it also gives you plus 15% recoil on whatever gun you're using. That is, uh, in the game code, that's going to be plus 15% view kick. So it's getting an additional 15% kick in each and all in every random direction, not just vertically your side to side wobble your downward drift all of those sort of annoying variables that make you miss they're all increased by 15 percent across the board at the end of the day do i think rapid fire is a good attachment Yes I do. Rapid fire drastically decreases your time to kill and makes all of your guns more competitive, more viable, more dangerous. It's just a matter of if you're able to control the recoil, if you have enough magazine capacity to handle that rate of fire and not burn out. I think the MP11 is a pretty fun one to use it on, maybe not the best. It goes really well on the KF5, the ASM1, and surprisingly the SAC3 Akimbo SMGs. Rapid fire does really good work on those. This is a good attachment. It's very viable, very usable, and even allowed for competitive play now, which is rare because rapid fire has been banned in the competitive scene for a long long time but it is quite good and i'd highly recommend you give it a go just don't hip fire quite as much with it that's all for this in-depth episode i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something useful if you did don't forget to like favorite and subscribe the previous episode was on the asm1 and the next episode is going to be on the amr9 you can click those boxes whenever they're ready drifter out